uh, folks, today I had a, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about editing 48 frame per second GoPro video. One of my friends has gone and done a ski trip. I'm sure he's got some awesome video from it. Uh, I went ahead and shot a piece of video here of just me juggling some balls at 48 frames per second. Uh, just so we could, you know, had this as an example, so my video is not going to be anything as cool as his. But he had asked me, did you have to go here? Well, first of all, I have no sequence open here. I have this other sequence that's something else. But I'm going to say new. I'm going right to click, right click in here. I'm going to say new sequence. And I'm going to call this juggling, J-U-G-G-L-I-N-G. And he had asked, did you have to pick the nearest thing to uh, 48 frames per second, which under AVCHD, uh, there's not really, they're not really GoPro presets in here. I always just pick the AVCHD. And you have 50 frames per second, which really is what, here we can see it somewhere. It is, it actually is 50 frames per second, it looks like. Uh, you know, really, he could, he, you could pick just about any of these. I'm using Dream, or not, I'm using a, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I got Dreamweaver in my mind, I'm sorry. Uh, but the, the Premiere Pro CC, Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro uh, 6, CS6, I believe will both do this. You can pick the 50 frame per second, but I, I always let the software kind of do this for me. I'm going to say OK. And uh, right now, so you can see this is a 50 frame per second piece of video. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull my Tony Juggles down here onto the timelines. The timeline's down here. And it, it, it says you can keep existing settings, which would be 50 frames per second, or you can change sequence settings and let the uh, software do this and I always keep this always ask open I think that's a good thing so now this juggling sequence is right here and I click on it I can see now it's 47.95 and if you look at Tony Juggles which is recorded with the GoPro Hero 3 plus you'll see it's 47.95 also so it automatically goes ahead and changes that for you so I do a terrible job juggling I'm a horrible juggler but this was just my friend was mentioned that he would like to be able to speed it up and slow things down and stuff so here I am juggling a bit Dropping lots of balls. Let's say at this point here, I want to, I want to cut this and go slow, right? I hit the C key on my, uh, on my computer, which gives me the the cut tool here, and I can now I can click that piece of video, and I'll go forward a little bit. So say I want to slow that portion down, I'll do another cut here. I'm going to go over here where the little uh, uh, slider bar is and pull this in so I can zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to hit the V key. V is in Victor, which allows me to have the selection tool again. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click again. This is the, the, the little smidgen that I want to do here, right? And I'm going to go to speed duration, and I'm going to say maybe, I don't know, 25% speed there. I'm going to hit the ripple edit shifting trailing clips. That means when this advances and gets slower, it's not going to cover up the video. That's It'll just actually push that other video forward. So I'm going to say OK. So now let's look what we got. I'll click. And there's my slowed down portion. The reason you're seeing a bit of, of quivering in the lights here is 48 frames per second in America does not synchronize well with the refresh rates on fluorescent lights, which are up here in the ceiling. Uh, my friend who has shot his uh, skiing video at 48 frames per second will not have this problem outside. Let's say I want to go here to this little portion and uh, once again uh, slow this down and hit the C key again. And let's say I want to go to, I don't know, 40% on this one. I'm going to do a V again, right click, speed duration, and we'll say 40%. So now what I have is some 100% uh, speed mixed with like 25% speed here. I'll go back to 100% right there. And then back to, uh, what was that, 40%? <laughs> yeah, I do suck. I'm terrible at juggling. Folks, that's uh, you know my best kind of advice on how to do the sort of thing my friend wants to do. I'm just going to trim this video off the end. And let's say I want to export this because I know he's going to come to how am I going to export for YouTube at 48 frames per second. He's going to come to that question. Be sure your sequence, you know, see the yellow around all this. That means that this is, is uh, highlighted. This is your sequence. I'm going to go to File, Export, Media. And for YouTube, I typically pick H.264. Juggling's a fine name for it. Doesn't have to be anything else. I've got, uh, uh, you know, if you got this match source, then it's going to do this 50 frame per second. YouTube typically doesn't like 50 frame per second. It likes 30 frame or 24. Uh, I would say you're probably going to turn that off. Leave it 1920 by 1080. That's what I'd shot this in. And I'm going to probably go to 29.97. 29.97. Or you could pick 24 since you've used uh, 
48 frame per second and half of it. But, you know, honestly, this will be okay. I have some kind of default, uh, you know, uh, bit megs per second that I would use. If, if he's doing his outside snow stuff, I would say 20 to 25 megs per second on the low end, maybe 28 to 32 on the top end. He talked about doing some 15-minute videos. You might have to uh, do a little bit less than that. You might have to cut those up a little bit. Um, you know, you kind of use your own judgment. But I would test your videos, do a 30-second segment, make sure it looks the way you want to. You could certainly go up, you could go down. This juggling video that I'm doing would look just fine at probably 10 megs per second, honestly, because nothing's moving back behind me. It's just me and the balls. So I could go, you know, uh, 10 and 15. If he's got a lot of detail in his snow and wants to see the you know, the trees around and, and there's lots of beautiful sky and cliffs and rocks and stuff like that, then you might want to go higher with this. You know, a, a good, really high quality rate would be 18 plus megs per second on this part here and down here where the 15 is here, uh, you know, 26, 28, 30. But that's always going to make your size bigger down here, right? And, and you're trying to give YouTube the best you can. They're still going to squash the crap out of it with compression and you're gonna lose a lot of quality, but uh, if you give them better, when they go to compress it, it'll look a little better too. Folks, I hope this helps. Uh, my best, um, uh, I guess my best advice on uh, editing 48 frame per second video, slowing it down, and then exporting it. Cheers, peace to all. If you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe if you like the channel.